Good morning, everyone. My name is Veritas, and welcome back to Destiny. Now, today is Tuesday, Reset Day, which means your activities in all of your sectors of gaming have been reset. You can now earn new rewards from old things. <coughs> so, let's start off with the Crucible. This week is actually pretty interesting. Your first thing is Mayhem Clash. You also have Inferno 3v3. Completing the first game of either of these will award you with a sterling treasure box. The first three will award you with 10 legendary marks each. And as always, Elimination is here for your weekly play. Moving into the daily nonsense, uh, your daily crucible activity is Clash. Your daily story will award you with 15 legendary marks as well as your daily crucible. I don't know what the story is exactly, but it doesn't really matter. It looks like Blighted Coven might be the uh, daily story there. Your, vo your Vanguard Heroic Strikes. Uh, do have new modifiers now in the new week is in session. Uh, heroic, Void Burn, Specialist, and Exposure. Heroic means it's heroic. Void Burn means that void damage from all sources is increased. Specialist means your special weapon does uh, bonus damage while your primary and heavy do reduce damage. And Exposure means your shields don't regenerate, but you have more of them. The Nightfall this week is the Sunless Cell. This is a la cool the Dark Blade. Your modifiers for the Nightfall are Epic, Small Arms, Chaff, Ironclad, and Exposure. Small Arms means your primary weapon does bonus damage while your secondary and heavy do reduce damage. Chaff means your radar is disabled. Ironclad means uh, more enemies have shields, and Exposure means that you your shields do not regenerate, but you have more of them. From the Nightfall, you can obtain the Dark Blade Helm and the Dark Blade Spite. Those are uh, your... Uh, your strike exclusives from that, and they have a bonus chance of dropping on the Nightfall, so Titan Helmet and a Fusion Rifle there for your uh, possible Nightfall drops. Moving into the Reef, we have the Challenge of Elders this week uh, with Berserk, Chaff, Grenade Kill bonus. To access this, you need to go to the Reef, um, the Vestian Outpost, and buy a Sigil from Varix for currency. Once you have that, you have access to Challenge of Elders. Berserk means uh, enemies will not flinch even after massive damage. Chaff means your radar is disabled. And Grenade Kill bonus means what it, what it looks like it means. You get bonus points in this uh, from Grenade Kills. Uh, get your 30,000 points in one run for your weapon and your 90,000 cumulative points from three runs for armor, I believe, is what those are. Uh, moving into the Prison of Elders, level 41. This is your... Uh, your five round activity. This is your easier activity. This has matchmaking, so go ahead and jump in here. Completing the first one of these will award you with a sterling treasure box, and the first three of these will give you ten legendary marks. This pulls off the same loot pool as uh, your Vanguard Heroic Strikes, so two strikes, one prison, and all the combinations of that you can think of for your 30 marks there. Your raid challenge this week is Golgoroth, uh, which means everyone needs to hold the gaze per damage rotation on Golgoroth. This is also the last time Golgoroth will be available uh, in challenge mode until Rise of Iron, so if you have moments of triumph needing to be done, I would suggest doing that now. Uh, and that's about it for your director level stuff. I will show you where your last treasure box is uh, when we get to the tower, so I will see you there in just a moment. Alrighty, we have arrived in the tower and all the fun things that come with that. Your last sterling treasure box, or your first or second, depending on how you want to do this. Uh, your freebie, essentially, is right here in your postmaster underneath uh, special orders and all that fun goodness. Um, do not mind my, my super full inventory. Uh, but yeah, those are your three sterling treasure boxes for the week. Those are your activities uh, for the week. All your fun stuff. I will go ahead and open these sterling treasure boxes now for you to see. If I get anything decent out of them, um, just had to make some inventory space here real quick. But uh, that's going to be about it for me um, for the weekly reset, stuff like that. Not a great week, honestly. Uh, it could be better. It could definitely be better. Um, so I wouldn't recommend. Uh, this is actually more of a week for the Crucible. So if you have done the mountaintop thing for Shacks and you have the ability to have these weekly bounties that give you this Nightfall reward thing from doing all five of them, I would suggest jumping into Mayhem Clash and doing that. Um, I had a terrible game the first one I played, but that's you know not indicative of uh, you know everyone's experience. So I would jump into Crucible this week and uh, go ahead and do that. Oh, that's right, I was opening this on my Titan, wasn't I? Um, yeah, I'm going to go open these on my Titan, so I will see you guys in just a second. I want to get some Titan loot. Alrighty, on to the Titan we go. Um, even if we get Gauntlets, we won't be able to see them. Uh, probably not, since I have my inventory so full. This is why we don't jump characters at willy-nilly random, uh, because we end up with stuff like this. So let's make room for that, just in case we do get some Gauntlets, um, because that's the only thing I need is Gauntlets. Uh, I open these boxes over here with a uh, hopefully an increased chance to get some some decent... Uh, Spectar gauntlets. Man, those boots. Those boots. Every single week with those boots. Come on. Desolate or gauntlets, please. Nope, just Chroma. So nothing this week uh, in terms of that. We might have gotten something in the bank that was desolate gear for this character. Um, 
I can go ahead and open up Dim right now and see what that is. That's going to be about it for me. Um, that's all. Uh, what do we get? We got a helmet, and that's what it was. It was a helmet. Um, so, unfortunate, but oh well. We have a few more weeks until Rise of Iron, so hopefully by then, uh, you know, Lady Luck will shine upon me and all that fun stuff. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, I very much appreciate it. And, uh, yeah. As always, until the next video, have a great day, everyone.